Hello, a great welcome to Idea Statica tutorial. Myself is Jarajan P. This is tutorial number nine. Here I will demonstrate how to perform the stiffness analysis of a steel connections. The example connection used in the tutorial is shown here. As you can see, it basically consists of a beam to column moment connection that is a performed using a end plate border connection. Here we shall evaluate the moment of resistance, initial rotation stiffness and second stiffness, rotation capacity as well as the joint stiffness classification. Before getting into the tutorial, let me summarize why stiffness analysis is important and also let me provide you the easy three provisions regarding the stiffness assessment. So in the analysis of and design of steel structures, the beam column connections are assumed either rigid or pinned. Accordingly, the distribution of internal forces story displacements within the structure are highly dependent on such assumptions. In many situations, it is observed that the connection is neither rigid nor pinned assumed during the analysis but it is in fact in between the two that is a semi-rigid connection which ultimately makes this result analysis unreliable. Now the estimation of a correct joint stiffness ensures the validity of assumptions made during the analysis. The estimation of joint stiffness is uh, in particular very important in cases where the structure is subjected to lateral loads such as wind or earthquake. Here as you can see the typical sketches for a rigid joint, pin joint, and a semi rigid joint is shown. Wherein, in a rigid joint, we find that both the column as well as the beam members it rotates as a single unit, and accordingly, their rotations are the same. This is the deflector profile for a pin joint, and whereas in the case of a semi rigid joint, we find that the rotation of the beam is quite different from that of the column. Now coming to the EC3 approach for classification of joints, EC3 essentially employs the component method in the estimation of the joint stiffness. It starts from the nonlinear force deformation response of the various components I, obtain the corresponding stiffness coefficients Ki, and then club together all the component stiffnesses in order to evaluate the joint rotation stiffness and the rotation, M rotation curve, M5 curve, uh, that is implied in the EC3 is shown here and uh, the classification of the joint is based on the SJINI which is essentially the initial stiffness and the initial stiffness is normally computed at a moment level corresponding to two-thirds of MGRD where MGRD is uh, the design resistance of the connection and in idea static it is normally computed at a strain level of five percentage and basically EC3 classifies the connections into three, that's a rigid one, wherein the initial stiffness is greater than Kb into Eib by Lb, and then a zone three, that is a normally pinned connection, wherein the initial stiffness is less than 0.5 into Eib by Lb, and anything in between a zone one and zone three is classified as a semi-rigid connection. So let us start with the tutorial number nine in Idea Statica. So we'll calculate uh, the stiffness analysis for a small connection. So we'll straight away start from the connection wizard. So to suit our requirement, that is basically an unplate moment connection. Uh, we will select a standard connection from the wizard. So the model is already shown here. So we need to input some parameters over here. So we'll write down, this is uh, the name is uh, stiffness analysis. Stiffness analysis. And the description will write down for end plate voltage connection and we'll keep the steel grade as 235 volt assembly m16 8.8 .8. concrete grade we will not touch and the design code all the requirements will be taken straight away from the european code so we'll straight away create the project Okay, so this is a connection that we have imported from a connection wizard. So let us start uh, uh, adjusting all the parameters. So for the column, we will uh, choose the HB for 140. So we'll just add it. And the column. 
so we can write it as uh, so this is our HB so it should be 140 will choose okay and it will be my s235 so that's okay for me and uh, remember uh, in the stiffness analysis we have got uh, so we have got uh, to calculate the rotation stiffness so it does mean that we need to select a proper analysis also so in the stiffness analysis so instead of the eps please select the st okay so that is very important because ST requires some additional parameters for the beams and the columns. So now we will see. So we have already set the column dimensions as 140. And uh, this gamma will be 90 degrees and this will be continuous. And this is okay. And here is, uh, you know, the theoretical length for the moment calculation. Because the limits for uh, classifying the joints, it is based on uh, the beam length as well as the column length. So, uh, here it, uh, we have input as uh, 6 meters as the theoretical length for the computation of these limits. And uh, uh, for the stiffness analysis, it is important that we set which should be the analyzed member. So in our case, the beam will be the analyzed member because we are going to calculate the rotation stiffness for the beam and plate connection. So here it will be, uh, it is, uh, column is not an analyzed member. So we will straight away go to the beam. So as you can see that here is an analyzed member. That is very important. So uh, this has to be properly set. Okay, so here B is the analyzed member. So let us uh, go for changing the connection. So in this case, we'll keep it as IP220. So we'll just add it as, so it will be my I section and uh, it is my IP220. So it's IPE, IPE220 we can select. So this is my IP220, that's okay. So now, uh, uh, so that's okay. okay fine so we have uh, assigned the proper sizes for the columns as, the, as well as the, for the beam uh, now uh, let us go straight for uh, uh, correcting uh, the parameters required for the manufacturing operations here uh, we will not use any stiffness so what I will do is that uh, as this uh, uh, connection model comes with the stiffness stiffness plates we we'll just uh, inactivate it we don't require those plates and we'll straight away go for that end plate connection. We'll start modifying it. Member one will be B, member two not specified is okay, connected to C, and it will be as 235. And the thickness we'll keep it as 15 mm. So this is my 15 mm, and it's a border connection, dimensions to profile symmetrical. We'll keep the dimensions of the end plate okay as the profile symmetrical, and we will input the required parameters as the top as a 10 mm, the top as a 10 mm, and the and the left dimension will keep it as a 15 mm 15 mm so that's a, we don't require any backing plates so the dimensions of the end plate is properly populated now let us go straight to the bolts we'll select m16828 bolts and here we will keep a, it's, a, it's a small connection that's why we have gone for m16 and let us keep the top layers dimensions as a minus 50 and let us keep the left layers as a minus 15 so left layers we will keep it as a minus 15 minus 15 okay minus 15 and uh, now we need to uh, provide all the weld dimensions so for the flange let us provide say uh, 5 mm okay double sided fillet weld and regarding the web we will go for a smaller smaller weld size that's a 3 mm s235 double sided is okay so it does mean uh, we have uh, okay uh, provided uh, the sufficient details uh, for populating the structural boards uh, assembly so let us see the uh, quickly let us see the model so as you can see that yes it is a very simple connection it consists of as you can see that only four bolts okay and it's an anti plate and so that's good enough so now uh, we have to start the analysis. We will provide also the actual moment that is acting on the beam section so that the program will provide us what would, what would be the possible rotation of the joint at this applied moment. So for that what we will do is, we will not input any here in this case, we will just uh, put the MY, let us keep it as, as 20 kilonewton meter. So the program will also compute what would be the joint rotation at this applied moment of 20 kilonewton meter. 
okay so that's all so what we can do is that we can straight away start for the calculate button and it will carry out a stiffness analysis and it will provide all the parameters that is required to plot an m5 moment rotation curve and all the calculations as i told you it will be made as per the ec8 and it is to be uh, very specifically mentioned that the guidelines that exist in the various codes are almost similar uh, though there is a minor variation if you for example if you want to carry out a similar stiffness analysis for uh, using the aic the parameters will be the same you have got the same type of connections as, as, like for example a rigid connection and a pin connection semi rigid connections and almost all the limits are uh, similar okay so let us uh, straight away go for uh, so here remember look here for the applied these results are the for example the plates we have got a strain of 0.4 percentage bolts 80.5 percentage these are for an applied moment of 20 kilonewton meter but in this particular it is given as an output part output by the idea statica but in this uh, tutorial we are very much interested in uh, basically the stiffness analysis results so let us uh, straight away go to the check button and uh, so here we will find that here analysis it is 100% analysis performed for the 20 kilonewton meter and let us see the rotational stiffness so here you will find that an m5 curve is already provided over here right so now let us straight away go to the report and see what would be the uh, important parameters that is available to us uh, from the stiffness analysis because uh, this is this looks to be a smaller plot so let us uh, go straight to the report So as you can see that uh, in the report, okay, it is uh, very clearly mentioned. Look here, this is the M5 report, M5 plot. That is a moment rotation plot, and the idea statica has calculated the the design resistance. So the connection can take a maximum of say 30.5 kilonewton meter, which is already reported over here. So look here, MGRD it is 30.5, and what is MGRD? It is a bending resistance, or you can say that it's the design resistance of the joint. Okay, so now in order to calculate the initial uh, stiffness as per the Euro code, what you need to do is that you have to select a moment MED that is equal to two third of MJRD. Okay, and two third of MJRD works out to be two third of this 30.5, that is 20.3. So at 20.3, you have to draw a horizontal line where it cuts the M5 curve. You have to draw a straight line in order to obtain its initial stiffness SJINI. Okay, so SJINA is nothing but the initial stiffness of the connection. Look here, this is the initial rotation stiffness of the connection, and uh, idea statica provides it as say I, SJINI in a mega newton meter, uh, that is a 10 raised to 3 kilonewton meter uh, per radians as 4.1. Okay, and uh, idea statica also provides the uh, rotation capacity of the connection 27.6. So for the design purpose, you can take somewhere here. Okay, the M5 curve could be populated up to this of uh, a limiting rotation of how much? It is 27.6. And L is the length of the member that we have uh, used for uh, obtaining the limits for the uh, rotation uh, okay, identification. And look here, here is uh, the important two limits. That is the SJLR. What is this SJLR? It is already given here. It's a limit value for the rigid joint. That means if your uh, initial stiff stiffness happens to be greater than 24.3, it will be a rigid connection. And for a pinned connection, it is 0 0.5. So anything less than 0.5 initial stiffness will be classified as a pinned connection. And look here, in our case, the initial stiffness is of the order of 4.1. That lies between 24.3 and 0.5, that is E2. That means that the classification of the connection will be semi-rigid. So that's why I used to uh, tell tell you very clearly that many of the connections though we assume in our uh, structural analysis as a rigid connection many of the connections in fact after a detailed calculation turns out to be a semi rigid connection implying that implying that the redistribution of the moments as well as the calculation of the story drifts in such frames needs a correction to account for this behavior semi rigid behavior okay and now coming to the second rotation stiffness so we know that uh, it is uh, the applied moment is 20 kilometer meter and the corresponding second uh, stiffness at this applied uh, moment it is equal to 4.2 okay and uh, the associated rotation is 4.7 so all the details are marked over here so so please subscribe to the channel 
so that you will uh, start getting uh, okay notifications as and when uh, uh, the video tutorials will be uploaded in future so thanks a lot for uh, listening so your comments are uh, very valuable to us so please also uh, send us your uh, uh, important comments uh, which will treat as a, one of the best ways to improve our uh, tutorial presentations thanks a lot and have a nice day